How's it going, everyone? Back here on Vanguard, double XP still on. I'm not sick anymore. And I've been wondering, what is the experimental playlist? Be the first to experience gameplay adjustments from the design team and share your feedback with Sledgehammer Games. For more information about the changes in this playlist, view today's message of the day. So I guess that kind of explains it right there, but it doesn't really say what it's doing right now. So I guess I'll just go more into detail on that when we get in the game. I'm going to the SDG real quick. This weird ass SDG class. So the current... The current maps and modes you can play on, on the experimental players at the very moment at least is Shipment, DOS House, Dome, and uh, the modes are TDM, Domination, Kill Confirmed, and Hardpoint. Basically, aside from Patrol, the exact same modes as the Shipment, DOS, Dome players that's on right now. But effectively, effectively speaking, they're, what they're testing right now is some brand new spawn logic. At least that's what they said. Basically, when you're playing this, these maps, you have like a stupidly high chance of just spawning. Jesus Christ, my legs got shredded off. That was brutal. Basically, you've got just like a crazy high chance of just spawning right into someone shooting at you. Or just spawning directly in front of an enemy, basically. And, I mean, there's not much you can really do against that. You just instantly die, because, I mean, they already have the upper hand. They spawn before you. And, uh, seemingly, if if this all works, then maybe they'll put implement it into the, like, full game, and then the spawns are saved. At least for these three maps. So, ba effectively speaking, they're testing new spawns. Hopefully, they'll remove squad spawns sometime in the future. Basically, spawns ever since Modern Warfare have just been nothing like original spawns, where it, you basically just like, spawn like a predefined location on the map. Maybe Cold War didn't have it, but I don't remember that. I mean, that's like an older engine game, so maybe, but... I know for a fact that Modern Warfare had it and Vanguard has it. And basically, it's like, instead of just spawning on a predefined location like in every other Call of Duty game, you sometimes spawn on your teammates. Like, like that! Okay, I guess I haven't removed it yet. You spawn your teammates, and that definitely makes things a lot more just awkward and weird. Just the flow of the game a lot of the times. Like, sometimes you're straight up just getting owned by, like, a team while you're playing hard point, and But it just happens to be that one of your guys is on the point. So then you end up just spawning on the point anyway. And then having more of a chance to defend the point, despite you clearly getting annihilated. It just does not work. I don't know why I should just turn to rant about squad spawns, but... Sledgehammer, Sledge, if you're watching this, please remove. How was that? Excuse me? I hope that was an experimental thing as well. I don't know what that was. I mean, Dome isn't really the worst offender, but at the very moment, I'm not really just automatically dying to anyone when I'm spawning. So I, I'd say that they've done a solid job of fixing it. I really hope they implement this into the full game eventually. First, I feel like Vanguard, no doubt, no doubt one of the worst Call of Duty games, but definitely not that bad. I sometimes wonder if they only made Vanguard because, I mean, Activision just wanted World War II guns in Warzone. That is a common theory, and honestly, I would not be surprised. Oh, I want the finishing move. It's just a, such an uninteresting un period of time to be making a video game about, personally. Definitely not nearly as cool as, like, Black Ops 2's near future. This is my new favorite thing to do. I just, like, run outside the combat area. They just own these kids. They have no clue. I don't know if that's like a fucked up thing to do or not, but I like doing it. So you know what? I, I don't care what you have to say. Hello? Okay. Where? Oh, okay. Wow, these... I'm not gonna lie. I sometimes forget how gruesome Call of Duty is. Like, when you just, like, really focus on, like, playing the game normally, you don't really realize it's, like, the, like, the blood flowing out your body when you die. Stuff like that. It's kind of ridiculous. Especially into finishing moves. I want to try and get a finishing move on someone. Because, oh, it's perfect. Ah, uh, what the hell? He turned around right- oh my god. I'm so pissed. I really want to try my finishing move, though. It's so- it's, it's just insane. But I don't have to reload, this gun can absolutely shred through a juggernaut, or flame knot. I think that's what it's called. I just fell through the ground? You play like this? Really? That better be for just camos. I keep forgetting there's like a random hole there. Bonds seem to be fine though. I don't think there's much of an issue with them. 
Basically, every time I spawned an enemy, I had like complete free reign to just combat. Oh my god, I should I should have finishing moved. But I haven't have a, I haven't had a single spawn where I feel like, oh my god, I'm just gonna immediately die. I'm right inside an enemy. So yeah, good good job, Sledge. Uh, I hope they implement this, and I hope they do more experimental stuff so we can test it. I think it's a pretty dope addition. Also, another thing, if you play ranked, uh, you can now use your use your blueprints, which is actually pretty neat. I don't know why they didn't let you do that for a while, but not now you can. So just just for all the ranked players out there. But yeah, thanks for watching.